Welcome back. Turning our attention now to the coronavirus. The United States has passed 27,759,000 coronavirus cases and more than 488,000 people have died from the virus. These are numbers from the Johns Hopkins University database. And then here at home in our state of Michigan, we are expecting an update on case numbers this afternoon. And as you saw at the top of our show, Governor Whitmer is currently updating the state's response. You can watch her on clickondetroit.com. Meanwhile, Detroit Mayor Mike Duggan is also expected to expand vaccine access to a new group. His briefing is scheduled for 2 p.m. And you can watch that live on clickondetroit.com. In other news this afternoon, Britain's 99 year old Prince Philip has been admitted to a London hospital. The palace said the husband of Queen Elizabeth was taken there after quote feeling unwell. No other information has been released, but the prince known in the Britain as the Duke of Edinburgh has rarely been seen in public ever since he stepped down from public duties in August of 2017. The British media reports that his latest trip to the hospital is not COVID related. We should point that out. Pope Francis celebrated the beginning of 40 days of Lent with a mass on Ash Wednesday in St. Peter's Basilica. And because of the pandemic, proceedings were scaled back a bit with about 100 people in attendance and the rituals, rituals were tweaked. Instead of rubbing ashes on people's foreheads, the Vatican is urging priests to sprinkle it on the crown of the head instead. Here at home, St. David's Episcopal Church on 12 Mile in Southfield will offer drive through ashes until 6 this evening. This year's ashes and prayer cards will be handed out in sealed plastic bags and believers will be able to pray with ministers and mark their own foreheads with an ash cross in the driveway.